ya wanasiasa kwa wakikuyu kazi yao ni kutembea na kuleta uhasama kati yetu na wanjaruo wakati wao mwingine wakati wa vita za 207 ilikuwa uhasama kati yetu na wakarejin si ndio tukachochewa tukachochewa tukauana ulafiki ikakuja rais kenyata akareta ulafiki kati yetu na wakikuyu na, 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 na wanjaruo sasa ile tunasikia ni mambo ya ati wanjaruo na, waki, na wakikuyu sisi ni wafanyi biashara na tukia, tukiaza chuki kati yetu na makabila zile zingine si tutaumia Dear ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV I'm glad you well from wherever you watching this channel Now Mwangi Wairia reiterated the fact that for shareholders for the real shareholders to be known sava lazima ifunguliwe He made those claims when he hosted Raila Molodinga and the team of Azimio One Kenya Lands. Mwangi Wairia was basically trying to respond to the former the, the previous comments by Gachagua. You remember somewhere there up I think about one month or two months ago when Gachagua was in uh, Rift Valley and he said that the people who will be given priority in this government are the shareholders. And he went further and said that the shareholders who will be given priority watakuwa kikuja maybe kwa state house and you found that in that queue you are a non shareholder and you are at the front of the queue alikuwa atakuchukua akuweke nyuma because you are not a shareholder so mongo here said and he's always said this thing and i think he said it at that rally the previous rally on the weekend he said that shareholders hapa ni only 7 million the votes the total number of votes who are, which were supposed to be cast were supposed to be 22 million but only 14 million were cast that means half for azimio half for kenya kwanza so half for azimio according to gachagua those are non shareholders so non shareholders here are the 7 million who voted for raila according to chabukati and the, those people who did not want to vote for this kenya kwanza government again the 7 million that makes it 14 million so the the the, the maths here is adding up quite perfectly well because the 14 million are the ones who did not vote for the kenya kwanza government so that means the four, the 7 million are the ones who are regarded by gachagua literally as the shareholders of the company kenya so one way is using this remark by gachagua in fact telling gachagua that you are not a real mau mau I remember hearing in that uh, one of those speeches there that the real Mau Mau fought for freedom of Kenyans. The real Mau Mau did not bad mouth people. But they are saying that Gachagua is exhibiting something totally different from the real Mau Mau. In fact, I remember somewhere that they went to an extent of saying that Hata Surya Gachagua Ayonyeshi Kwamba ni Mau Mau. So, those are some of the things which are said against Gachagua. And I think this same round Gachagua has met his match. Mwangiwaria is the perfect match for regarding Gachagua. So Mwangiwaria is going further and saying that we want secession. I don't want to talk about this matter of secession much because it is not something that I intend to, to, to analyze on in this uh, channel. But that's what one of the things he talked about, secession. He even got further and said that the government is full of, you know, uh, what we say, mischief. I call it political mischief because the people there talked about being shortchanged. So they're saying that the government is full of mischief. One of the plans of Mwangiwairia in that meeting is to recruit 3,000 members through a leader whom he fronted. A young leader who's supposed to be part of the MDD and you saw that inauguration of that youthful leader who is tasked with recruiting 3,000 youth members who are supposed to lead the demonstration. Mind you, Mwangi Wairia said that he is going to head a mandamano of the Mount Kenya. So take a look at this. A mandamano of Mount Kenya, people were told that they will be they are, they are the real hustlers. People were told that they are the ones who are going to form this government. People were promised heaven while they are not seeing even a hotel being delivered to them. 
how do you expect that, that kind of ma ma maandamano to look like? Personally, I think hii ndio maandamano itakuwa inakuwa ile 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 ya mwisho because let's take a look at this if Nairobi maandamano ikiwa iko top notch and then Mount Kenya because it's just as Justin to Nairobi Mount Kenya pay yanze demonstrations and then these demonstrations will spill over to part of Rift Valley because of course we've seen not all Rift Valley people are happy with this government some of them are crying foul over insecurity issues some of them are saying that they are being shortchanged in fact this issue of high cost of living aibagui I say me kwamba itaenda kwa azimio peke yake inaenda kwa kila mtu you know even costarians are feeling for social change because there's the issue of SGR which was not fulfilled SGR was supposed to you know the, the, the issue of a port Naivasha port was supposed to be reversed but we understand that that has not been done it is not possible because the promise was given as a political political gimmick whereas in the real in the reality it is not possible to achieve it so that's why i'm saying that this government iko na wakati mgumu na ni mgumu sana and mwange wa iria has reiterated the fact that achieving the ma mandate achieving the manifesto by this government that will not going to be a walk in the park so ladies and gentlemen just take a moment and listen to what mwange wa iria said ya wanasiasa kwa wakikuyu kazi yao ni kutembea na kuleta uhasama kati yetu na wanjaruo wakati wa mwingine wakati wa vita za 207 ilikuwa uhasama kati yetu na wakarejin si ndio tukachochewa tukachochewa tukauana ulafiki ikakuja rais kenyata akareta ulafiki kati yetu na wakikuyu na, 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 na wanjaruo sasa ile tunasikia ni mambo ya ati wanjaruo na, waki, na wakikuyu sisi ni wafanyi biashara na tukia, tukiaza chuki kati yetu na makabila zile zingine si tutaumia. Ukienda Kisumu unakuta wakikuyu wakiuza mali mali, si Wewe unataka tupigana na Wajaruo? Unataka wale wakikuyu wetu, brothers zetu wako Kisumu wakiuza mali mali wafanywe nini? Ile ni kuendelea kufanya leo. Ni kuanza safari ya ulafiki kati yetu na wajaluo na kabila zingine. Si ndio? Hapa kuna mjaluo, kuna mbaluya, kuna mteso, kuna kila kitu. Hii jiri inahubiliwa hapa. Na sana sana nakashagua. Ya uhasama. Huyu ni mzee wa kuita mwana wazimu kweli? Si ni kama babu yako? Si ni kama baba yako? Na unamuita hiyo majina kwa nini? So from that video you can tell very well that Mwangi Wairia means means business. So ladies and gentlemen, kindly give us your comment below the comment section and once again don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give us a like, hit the notification bell and once again I'd like to urge you to stay safe, stay blessed until we catch up again in our next analysis.